In an industry known for its fleeting nature, the actress built a lasting career that spanned several decades. Joan Bennett, born on February 27, 1910, in Palisades, New Jersey, first appeared on screen as a child in the 1910s. However, it was in the 1930s that she gained recognition as a leading lady in Hollywood. The actress's career was marked by her ability to adapt to various roles and genres. She starred in films such as Little Women, The Man Who Broke the Bank at Monte Carlo, and The Son of Frankenstein. In the 1940s, she transitioned to film noir, delivering unforgettable performances in The Woman in the Window, Scarlet Street, and The Reckless Moment. Bennett's success was not limited to the big screen. She also made her mark on television, appearing in shows such as The United States Steel Hour, Dr. Kildare, and Dark Shadows. Her work in Dark Shadows earned her a Daytime Emmy nomination in 1971. Throughout her career, the actress was known for her beauty, talent, and versatility. She continued to work in film and television until her retirement in the 1980s. Joan Bennett passed away on December 7, 1990, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Joan Bennett was an American actress. Born on February 27, 1910, she became a symbol of the industry with her enduring qualities, including her versatile talent and captivating screen presence. Throughout her career, she graced both the big and small screens, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. As you watch this video, prepare to discover many surprising and intriguing facts about Joan Bennett. We'll delve into her life, exploring her journey from a young actress to a Hollywood star. You'll learn about her most memorable roles, personal experiences, and the challenges she faced along the way. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Joan Bennett? Perhaps you were inspired by one of her iconic performances or found a connection with her in some other way. Whatever your experience, we invite you to share it with us in the comments below. As we explore the life and career of this remarkable actress, consider the following questions 1. What enduring qualities do you think makes Joan Bennett an everlasting symbol of the industry? 2. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Joan Bennett? So, keep watching to learn more about the life and career of this captivating actress, and don't forget to share your memories and stories with us in the comments below. Born in Palisades, New Jersey in 1910, the actress, Joan Bennett, was the middle child of three daughters. Her father, Richard Bennett, was a well-known stage actor, and her mother, Adrian Morrison, was also a silent film actress. With such parentage, it's no surprise that Joan was exposed to the world of acting at a young age. Growing up in a household where both parents were involved in the entertainment industry, Joan and her sisters often accompanied their father to the theater. This early exposure to the stage sparked her interest in acting. However, it was her mother who played a significant role in shaping Joan's career. Adrian recognized her daughter's potential and encouraged her to pursue acting. Joan's early years were spent in New York City, where she attended the prestigious Chapman School. She later transferred to the Miss Mason School in Westchester County, where she completed her education. Despite her privileged upbringing, Joan was determined to make it on her own in the acting world. In the late 1920s, Joan began her acting career in small roles in various films. Her breakthrough role came in 1932 when she starred in the film Me and My Gal alongside Hollywood legend Spencer Tracy and Marion Davies. This role catapulted her to fame and established her as a rising star in Hollywood. Joan's career continued to flourish throughout the 1930s and 1940s. She starred in numerous films, including Little Women, The Woman in the Window, and Scarlet Street. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Throughout her career, Joan worked with some of the most prominent directors and actors in Hollywood. She was known for her professionalism, dedication, and versatility her ability to adapt to different roles and genres made her a valuable asset in the film industry. In addition to her work in films, Joan also appeared in several television shows and stage productions. She continued to act until her retirement in the late 1980s. Joan's legacy in the film industry is undeniable. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations of actresses. Her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to resonate with audiences today. Joan Bennett was a notable actress, known for her work in film, television, and theater. Born on February 27, 1910, in Palisades, New Jersey, she was the daughter of actors Richard Bennett and Adrian Morrison. Bennett's career spanned several decades, and she became a prominent figure in Hollywood during the 1930s and 1940s. 
She appeared in numerous films, including Little Women, The Man in the Iron Mask, and The Reckless Moment. In addition to her film work, Bennett also had a successful career in television. She starred in the popular soap opera Dark Shadows and the drama series Till a Tenet throughout her career. Bennett was known for her versatility and range as an actress. She played a variety of roles, from sweet and innocent to cunning and manipulative. Bennett's personal life was also filled with drama and intrigue. She was married four times and had four children. In the 1950s, she was involved in a highly publicized legal battle with her third husband, film producer Walter Wanger. Despite the challenges she faced, Bennett remained a respected and admired figure in the entertainment industry. She continued to act until the early 1990s, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a lasting impact on the world of film and television. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the magic of the silver screen. At the age of nine, she made her film debut in The Valley of Decision. However, it was her role in The Fog that truly ignited her passion for acting. During the filming of The Fog, the actress was given the freedom to explore her character and truly make it her own. She was encouraged to experiment with different emotions and reactions, which allowed her to discover the depth and complexity of her craft. This experience fueled her desire to pursue acting as a career and to continue pushing the boundaries of her abilities. Another pivotal moment in the actress's career came when she was cast in the film Scarlet Street. She played a character that was vastly different from any role she had taken on before. The actress was challenged to portray a manipulative and cunning woman, which required her to delve into the darker aspects of her personality. This experience allowed her to expand her range as an actress and to showcase her versatility. Throughout her career, the actress remained dedicated to her craft and continued to take on challenging roles that allowed her to grow and evolve as an artist. Her passion for acting was evident in every performance, and she left a lasting impact on the film industry. In June 1945, the Lux Radio Theater presented a 60-minute radio adaptation of The Woman in the Window, featuring the original cast, including Joan Bennett as Alice Reed. Just a few years prior, while filming Little Women in 1933, Bennett was expecting her daughter, Melinda Markey. Two decades later, in the mid 1960 s the filming of House of Dark Shadows coincided with a TV series of the same name. Due to the movie production, several actors were written out of the show temporarily. Bennett, who played Elizabeth Collins Stoddard, was absent from episodes 991 to 1006. Her absence, along with that of other cast members, was a result of the filming demands for House of Dark Shadows. In both The Woman in the Window and House of Dark Shadows, Joan Bennett delivered compelling performances, showcasing her talent and dedication as an actress. Despite the challenges of balancing radio, film, and television work, she consistently delivered memorable performances that left a lasting impression on audiences. Her commitment to her craft and her ability to adapt to various mediums are a testament to her professionalism and talent. Despite facing significant challenges early in her career, the actress, Joan Bennett, remained resilient and found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles. Born into a prosperous family, the stock market crash of 1929 left them financially struggling. However, this did not deter the young actress from pursuing her dreams. Bennett's family situation forced her to start working at a young age, and she found employment as a movie extra. She faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her acting abilities, but she refused to let that stop her. Instead, she used the opportunity to observe and learn from more experienced actors. As she continued to work in the industry, Bennett faced further challenges. She was often typecast in certain roles, limiting her opportunities for growth and exploration as an actress. However, she did not let this hold her back. She took control of her career and began seeking out more diverse and challenging roles. One of the most significant obstacles Bennett faced was a scandal involving her third husband, film producer Walter Wanger. In 1951, Wanger shot and wounded talent agent Jennings Lang, believing he was having an affair with his wife. The scandal made headlines and threatened to derail Bennett's career. However, the actress refused to let the scandal define her. She stood by her husband during his trial and continued to work in the industry. She even took on more substantial roles, proving her talent and versatility as an actress. Bennett's resilience and determination allowed her to overcome numerous obstacles throughout her career. She remained committed to her craft and continued to push boundaries, inspiring future generations of actors to do the same. After making her first appearance in the second episode of Dark Shadows, 
The actress quickly became a central figure as Elizabeth Collins Stoddard. She was one of only three cast members to appear in the series from beginning to end. Alongside Nancy Barrett and Louis Edmonds, Barrett briefly stepped in for the actress in one episode due to illness, as the writers did not have time to rewrite the episode her character, Carolyn Stoddard, was to appear in. The actress's personal life was marked by a high-profile scandal in 1951 when her husband, Walter Wanger, shot her agent, Jennings Lane, in the groin. Wanger discovered that they were having an affair and caught them in the act in Lane's car. Wanger was convicted of attempted murder and served a four-month sentence. Born Joan Geraldine Bennett in 1910, she came from a family of performers. Her grandparents were Rosewood and the stage actor Louis Morrison, whose birth name was Morris W. Morris. The actress's film career spanned several decades, and she appeared in over 70 films, including The Woman in the Window and Scarlet Street. She also had a successful career on television and stage. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, the actress continued to work in the industry and leave her mark on the world of entertainment. Her legacy as a talented and versatile actress continues to resonate with audiences today. After initial roles in silent films, the actress's breakthrough moment came in 1932 with her lead in Scarface, a groundbreaking gangster film. Critics took notice of her powerful performance, and her career gained momentum. In 1940, she starred in The Man I Married, a film addressing the rise of Nazism. Her portrayal of a naive American wife married to a German intellectual was highly praised. This marked a turning point in her career as she began to take on more complex and challenging roles. A significant recognition came in 1943 when she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Woman in the Window. Although she didn't win, the nomination solidified her status as a serious actress. In the late 1940s, the actress transitioned to the stage, appearing in several successful Broadway productions. Her performance in The Sisters was particularly acclaimed, with critics praising her for her depth and emotional range. In the 1950s, she gained further recognition for her work in television, starring in the popular series Dark Shadows. Her portrayal of Elizabeth Collins Stoddard, the mysterious matriarch of the Collins family, was a career highlight. Throughout her career, the actress was known for her versatility and ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. Her breakthrough moments were marked by her willingness to take on challenging roles and her commitment to her craft. As one critic noted, she had a rare ability to make even the most ordinary lines sound extraordinary. The actress, Joan Bennett, faced many struggles in her life, including substance abuse and addiction. Her journey with addiction began in the 1950s when she became dependent on sleeping pills. This dependency led to a downward spiral in her personal and professional life. Bennett's addiction was not a solitary struggle. It affected her relationships with those around her including her third husband, film producer Walter Wanger. In 1951, Wanger shot Bennett's agent, Jennings Lang, in a fit of jealousy, believing that Lang was having an affair with his wife. This incident further complicated Bennett's life, leading to a separation from Wanger and a brief stint in jail for her husband. Despite these challenges, Bennett continued to work in the film and television industry. She appeared in numerous films, including The Reckless Moment and Susan Slept Here, and later transitioned to television, starring in the popular soap opera Dark Shadows. However, her addiction remained a constant struggle, even as she continued to act. In the late 1960s, Bennett sought help for her addiction and entered a rehabilitation center. This decision marked a turning point in her life, as she was able to overcome her dependency on sleeping pills and regain control over her career and personal life. Bennett's story is a reminder of the devastating impact that addiction can have on an individual's life. However, it also highlights the importance of seeking help and the possibility of recovery. Despite the many struggles she faced, Bennett remained a resilient and determined individual, continuing to work in the industry she loved until her retirement in the 1990s. The actress, Joan Bennett, was known for her unique approach to her work. She had a chameleon-like ability to transform herself for each role, making it difficult for audiences to recognize her from one film to the next. Bennett's artistic process was deeply personal and intuitive, often drawing from her own experiences and emotions to bring depth to her characters. Bennett once stated, I have to find something in a character that I can identify with, something that resonates with me personally. Only then can I truly become that character. This approach allowed her to create complex and nuanced performances that captivated audiences. In addition to her personal experiences, Bennett's worldview was also reflected in her work. 
She was a strong advocate for women's rights and often chose roles that challenged traditional gender norms. Her portrayal of strong, independent women in films like The Woman in the Window and Scarlet Street helped to break down barriers and pave the way for future generations of actresses. Bennett's artistic process was also reflected in her meticulous attention to detail. She spent hours rehearsing her lines and perfecting her movements, often working closely with directors and writers to ensure that her performances were authentic and powerful. Her dedication to her craft was unwavering, and she was known for her ability to deliver compelling performances even in the most challenging of circumstances. Despite her success, Bennett remained humble and grounded throughout her career. She once said, I've been lucky enough to have a long and varied career, but I never take it for granted. I'm always striving to improve and grow as an actress. This dedication to her craft, combined with her unique approach to her work, made Joan Bennett one of the most captivating and enduring actresses of her time. During the filming of She Wanted a Millionaire in 1932, the actress suffered a setback when she broke her leg after falling from a horse. This unfortunate incident led to a six-month interruption in the shoot. The actress was a private person who preferred to keep her personal life out of the public eye. She wore glasses when not in front of the camera, a detail not many knew about. By the time of her passing, she had become a grandmother to 13 grandchildren. Interestingly, two great-grandchildren were on the way as one of her grandsons and his wife were expecting twins. This just goes to show how prolific a family tree she had left behind. Joan Bennett's impact and influence on the film industry are significant. She began her career in the 1920s and quickly became a popular actress in Hollywood. Known for her versatility, she excelled in various genres, from dramas to comedies and film noir. Bennett's ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance was exceptional. Her performances were often praised for their subtlety and emotional intelligence. According to film critic Paul and Kale, Bennett had an extraordinary gift for making even the most banal dialogue sound authentic and compelling. One of Bennett's most significant contributions to the industry was her work in film noir. She starred in several notable noirs, including The Woman in the Window and Scarlet Street. Her performances in these films helped to establish the genre's visual and narrative conventions. Bennett's influence can also be seen in the way she challenged gender norms and expectations. She played strong, independent women who were not afraid to speak their minds. Her characters were often morally ambiguous, adding to their complexity and intrigue. Actresses such as Julianne Moore and Laura Dern have cited Bennett as an inspiration. Dern has said, Bennett's ability to convey vulnerability and strength simultaneously was truly remarkable. She was a trailblazer for women in film. In addition to her work in film, Bennett also had a successful career in television. She starred in the popular soap opera, Dark Shadows, in the 1960s. Her performance as Elizabeth Collins Stoddard was iconic and helped to solidify her status as a versatile actress. Bennett's impact on the industry is still felt today. Her contributions to film noir and her portrayal of complex, independent women continue to inspire filmmakers and actresses alike. As film historian Jeanne Basinger has said, Bennett's legacy is one of authenticity, intelligence, and grace. She was a true pioneer in the world of film. In the film Scarlet Street, the actress gave a notable performance as Catherine Kitty March. This movie shares similar themes with The Woman in the Window, also directed by Fritz Lang, and featuring the same leading star as the actress, Edward G. Robinson and Dan Duryea. The actress and Edward G. Robinson shared the screen in two films, The Woman in the Window and Scarlet Street, released in 1944 and 1945 respectively. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, making these films a must-watch for any classic film enthusiast. In the television show Dark Shadows, the actress made a significant contribution, appearing in every episode from the beginning in June 1966 to the end in April 1971. Her consistent presence added depth to the show, making her one of only three cast members to appear in all 1 and 25 episodes. Outside of her acting career, the actress, Joan Bennett, led a private life centered around her family and personal interests. She was a mother of three and enjoyed spending time with her children. The actress was also an avid gardener and found solace in tending to her flowers and plants. Bennett's personal values and interests often informed her work in the film industry. She was known for her strong-willed and independent characters, which reflected her own independent spirit. The actress was also a champion for women's rights and often took on roles that showcased complex and multidimensional female characters. In addition to her acting career, 
The actress was also passionate about philanthropy. She was involved in various charitable organizations and causes, including the American Cancer Society and the United Service Organization. The actress was also a strong supporter of animal rights and worked with several animal welfare organizations throughout her life. Bennett's philanthropic efforts extended beyond her personal interests, as she also used her platform to raise awareness for social and political issues. She was a vocal advocate for civil rights and worked to promote equality and justice for all. The actress's personal values and interests shaped not only her work in the film industry, but also her contributions to society. Her passion for social justice, women's rights, and animal welfare inspired those around her and left a lasting impact on the world. In 1939, the actress came close to securing the part of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, but the role ultimately went to Vivian Lee. As a consolation, the film's producer, David O. Selznick, offered to cast her oldest daughter in the role of Bonnie Blue Butler. However, the actress declined the offer, as her daughter was already 11 years old, and the part required a toddler. In the early 1930s, the popularity of the Max Flesher Studios cartoon character Betty Boop was on the rise. The studio placed an ad in movie industry trade papers, comparing Betty Boop to several Hollywood actresses, including the actress, whom they described as having sweetness. Later, in 1971, the actress appeared in Peter Bogdanovich's The Last Picture Show. Although only in archive footage, the film's characters went to see Father of the Bride, and a clip featuring the actress was shown. Despite not having a significant role in the film, her appearance was a memorable one, the actress Joan Bennett left a lasting legacy within the film and television industry. With a career spanning several decades, she became known for her versatile roles and distinctive beauty. She began her career on the stage before transitioning to silent films and eventually became a leading lady in Hollywood's golden age. Bennett's ability to adapt to different genres and characters set her apart from her peers. She excelled in both dramatic and comedic roles and was equally convincing in film noir and period pieces. Her performances were nuanced and captivating, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout her career, including being typecast and facing personal struggles, Bennett persevered and continued to work in the industry. She remained dedicated to her craft and was always eager to take on new challenges. For aspiring professionals in the field, Bennett's legacy offers valuable lessons and advice she demonstrated the importance of adaptability and versatility, as well as the value of perseverance and dedication. She believed in taking risks and challenging oneself, even in the face of adversity. Bennett once said, I've always believed that if you're not taking risks, you're not growing. This advice encourages aspiring professionals to push themselves beyond their comfort zones and to embrace new opportunities. In addition, Bennett's career serves as a reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself and one's values. Despite facing pressure to conform to certain standards and expectations, she remained committed to her artistic vision and refused to compromise her principles. In terms of future contributions, the legacy of Joan Bennett continues to inspire and influence new generations of film and television professionals. Her work serves as a testament to the power of storytelling and the importance of artistic expression. As the industry continues to evolve and change, Bennett's legacy reminds us of the enduring value of creativity, passion, and perseverance. Her contributions will continue to resonate with audiences and inspire future professionals for years to come. In the 1950s, the actress found herself at the receiving end of Hedda Hopper's Gossip Column, a popular platform known for its scathing remarks about celebrities. In response to Hopper's constant disdain, the actress decided to take matters into her own hands. For Valentine's Day in 1950, she mailed Hopper a skunk with a note that read, You stink. The actress's bold move made headlines and solidified her reputation as a strong-willed and unapologetic figure in Hollywood. In her later years, the actress penned her memoir, The Bennett Playbill, where she expressed her amazement at the press's obsession with the personal lives of celebrities. She noted that the media's focus on trivial details often overshadowed more critical issues, such as the increasing presence of pornography in American culture. Despite this, the actress remained candid about her own personal habits, revealing that she loved peanut butter, knocked on wood for luck, made a great hollandaise sauce, loved fresh flowers, hated turnips, slept in a nightgown, and favored shocking pink and green. One of the most notable aspects of the actress's personal life was her early grandmotherhood. At the age of 39, she became the youngest grandmother in Hollywood, 
a title that further solidified her status as a unique and unconventional figure in the industry. Despite the media's fascination with her personal life, the actress remained focused on her work, delivering powerful performances in films and shows that showcased her talent and versatility. Her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to her enduring impact and legacy. Joan Bennett's journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of remarkable. Born in 1910, she began her career as a child actress before transitioning to adult roles in the 1930s. Over the years, she demonstrated her passion and innovation by constantly evolving and taking on new challenges. She first gained recognition for her work in films such as Little Women and The Man Who Came to Dinner. However, it was her transition to film noir in the 1940s that truly solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. In films like The Woman in the Window and Scarlet Street, she showcased her versatility and range as an actress. Bennett's impact on the entertainment industry extended beyond film. In the 1950s, she made a successful transition to television, starring in her own show, The Bennett Playhouse. She continued to work in television throughout the 1960s and 1970s, earning critical acclaim for her performances. Throughout her career, Joan Bennett faced numerous challenges and setbacks, but she never gave up. Her perseverance and creativity allowed her to continue working and innovating, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. In the end, Joan Bennett's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. Her ability to adapt and evolve throughout her career is a testament to her passion and dedication to her craft. She will always be remembered as a trailblazer and an inspiration to future generations of actors and actresses. As one of Hollywood's enduring stars, the actress graced the silver screen for over five decades, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Her work in films like The Woman in the Window and Scarlet Street showcased her versatility and captivating screen presence. The actress's career began in the early 1930s, where she first appeared in small roles before transitioning to leading lady status. Over the years, she worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time, including Fritz Lang and Humphrey Bogart. Beyond her film work, the actress also made her mark on television, appearing in numerous shows throughout the 1960s and 1970s. She was a familiar face to many, and her work resonated with audiences of all ages. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the actress's work and legacy? Did you have a favorite film or performance? Share your memories and thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.